A fence is only as strong as its bracing, and this isn't just true for wood posts, but T-posts as well. Wedgelock offers a variety of bracing kits for different applications, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to assemble a horizontal brace using a Wedgelock system, and you can check out our other Wedgelock videos to see how various kits are assembled. A Wedgelock horizontal brace kit will include two collars, two wedges, and two 90-degree sockets. To assemble our horizontal brace, we're gonna need three T-posts, two as verticals, one as our horizontal, we're gonna use a tape measure to determine our distance between our bracing and the height of our brace. And in this video, we'll use a gas-powered driver to install these posts, but you can also use just a regular hand driver as well. So our first step is setting and driving our first vertical post. It's important to keep in mind with our verticals that all of our hardware works on a 90-degree plane, so we wanna keep them front-facing or side-facing in the same fashion so that everything lines up. So we have our first vertical post driven. Now we wanna find our position for our second vertical post. How we do that is we lay out our horizontal and then we want to add a half an inch to that length. That half inch accounts for the 90 degree socket hardware from post to post. So we're laid out, we add a half an inch. This is where we're gonna drive our second vertical post. We're incorporating this H brace into an existing pasture. So we're gonna make sure we go ahead and slide our insulators onto our T post before we put our bracketry on. So if you're using slide on insulators, you'll wanna do that before we add anything else to these posts. If you're using clip on T post insulators, you can do that after the fact. We slid our insulators onto our T-post. Now we're ready to measure for the height of our brace. For this fence configuration, we're using 48 inches. So Ashley's gonna slide our collar into place and then lock it in with the wedge. Once the wedge is in place, we'll use our 90 degree socket on the inside face of this post, just clipping it in place. And we'll repeat these same steps on our second vertical post. Now we have both 90 degree sockets in place. We can grab our horizontal T-post and lock it in one side at a time. With our horizontal brace complete, we can go ahead and reinstall our electric tape. Wedge lock brace kits can add strength to your fence and take only minutes to assemble. You can find kits like this one and others at kencove.com. If there are fencing topics you would like us to cover on our channel, drop your ideas or questions in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more fencing tips and expert advice.